Ari Fleischer. Ari, I, I've heard this over and over again, style versus substance. I think it's both tonight, but talk about how this debate could be different from all others. Many have been televised since then. Well, I think the biggest difference right now is you have so many Americans who are uneasy about this election. You have a higher number of undecideds, and there's no incumbent in power. Typically, if a president is running for re-election, the debates form more of an affirmation. Yeah, I was always for him, and he won. Oh, I was always against him, and he lost. This is an open race for the presidency. It has more impact. We're looking at the stage right now. It's, it's daunting. It's intimidating. The lights will be on. And, of course, the big issue back with Nixon versus Kennedy was that Nixon started to sweat. He mopped right. his brow. You can't hear someone mopping their brow if you're listening on radio. You only hear the substance. But people who saw that on television say he looked nervous and pasty. He was sweating because of the lights. But Al Gore sighed a lot during his first debate against George Bush. And, and that hurt him. In, in certain regards, these these errant movements and facial expressions people make. How important is it for Donald Trump, whom you support, as I understand it, to, to not roll your eyes or look bored or, or what have you? Well, how's he being coached, if at all? Well, it's tremendously important. And for the record, I have said that there's a lot about Donald Trump that I don't like, but I will vote for him over Hillary any day. Mm -hmm. um, but it is style and substance go together. And when the American people vote, it's an interesting cocktail. People vote on the basis of policy, ideology, sense of honesty, and likability. All of that gets put into a mix. For some voters, maybe it's a 75-25. For others, maybe it's 25-25, 25-25. And it's up to every voter to watch the candidates tonight and judge. So for Hillary, what I think it means is she's got to be more likable. She needs to come across as somebody where the voters say she's not the typical scripted person I always thought she was. She actually has a personality. I, I, I kind of like her better. For Donald Trump, it's just the opposite. He needs to come across as more scripted, more disciplined, more focused, less bravado. So at the end of the day, people mm -hmm. say about Trump, I actually could see him in, as the president of the United States. He's not the creature or the, the caricature that I thought he was. Well, that's the difference. Yeah, because we, we earlier in the show showed a whole bunch of times where he lashed out during the primaries, during those right. debates. Um, look, the politicians and the pundits are out in full force. In fact, Alan Combs on his Fox News radio show just spoke with Senator Liz Warren of Massachusetts. Here's what she said and her impression of what she thinks Donald Trump has to do tonight, etc. So let's listen. It, look, Trump is a thin-skinned racist bully. And he has built his whole campaign around that. But I, I agree with you. I think the problem is that expectations are so low for Trump that if he just doesn't burst into flames right there on the stage, that people are going to say, huh, well, you know, he seems like a normal person. He's not a normal person. We would expect her to say that. However, Ed Rollins said earlier today on this network, Donald Trump doesn't have to win it. He just has to tie it tonight, meaning just maintain being calm, cool, collected. What do you think about that? You know, I think, number one, what Elizabeth Warren just did, isn't that everything that people don't like about Donald Trump? I mean, isn't that the name calling, the nastiness that people say, stop it? Mm -hmm. And I wish Trump would stop that. So I don't like Elizabeth Warren doing it either. But I, I do think the threshold is different for Donald Trump in the sense that it's a change election and many voters that he has a problem with are college educated voters who are almost looking for an excuse to be able to vote for Donald Trump. It's socially unacceptable. So many people are against him with the college educated groups that if Trump can just give them a reason to say he's not as bad as I thought, that's Rollins' point. That's gotcha. where Trump would have that advantage tonight. Hillary, on the other hand, what she's got to really show is that all those people who don't think she's honest, trustworthy, mm -hmm. likable, can she convert them? And I think that's a harder sell than somebody who just has to tone it down several notches. A lot of converting has to be going on if people are going to grab votes. It's good to see you, Ari. I'm sure you'll be watching picture in picture of the Saints game, right? No. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and Twitter. Saints, Falcons, Twitter. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Ari Fleischer is Thanks, former Liz. White House press secretary. Fox